everybody so today's video is going to be a makeup look on this look here I decided to do a talk through tutorial on this kind of copper and orange kind of look I thought this would be really nice and fresh for springtime and summer with this like nice pastel bold orange lip and just the really nice smoky kind of copper eyes. I just think it's really fresh and really pretty. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then please keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to like moisturize and prime my skin because I don't know if you guys can see, but my skin has not been great lately. I've just been breaking out. I don't know why. I don't know what to do with my diet or stress. I don't know, but I'm just like, ugh. So, um, I've just been making sure that I prime my skin really good before I do my makeup and I've just been using my Garnier Skin Naturals Moisture Plus um, dry, for very dry skin daily rich moisturizer which is just this. Um, I used to just use this at night time but now I am using just a little bit with my makeup primer before I do my makeup just to kind of prevent makeup from clogging my pores and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put that all over on my face. And then the primer that I've been using is the Maybelline New York Baby Skin Instant um, Blur Effects um, thing in Cool Rose. This one's different to my pore filling one. This one's got like a pink kind of tone to it and it's very like moisturizing and um, I think this is meant to kind of help blur imperfections. It looks like this and um, prime your skin, ready for makeup. So I've just been rubbing that oil in my face again, mainly focusing it in my T-zone. It's kind of weird that I've been breaking out too because I mean, I've been taking really good care of my skin lately and washing it all the time and you know, but it's just like, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation in the shade Porcelain. Um, I've been using this a lot. That's another thing I'm kind of wondering if this foundation's breaking me out because it's since I've really been starting using this foundation that I've found that my skin's been not so good. So I guess I'll just use this up and then take a break and kind of see if my skin clears up um, because that'll be interesting to see if it's this foundation that's breaking me out. But anyway, if you guys have used this foundation and it's been breaking me out too, let me know in the comments down below and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm sorry if I sound like really kind of blocked up. I'm a little bit sick. I think I have like a bit of a cold. Nothing too bad, but I feel really nasally. Um, yeah. So excuse my terrible voice. I just um dotting this, well not dotting this, striking it on my face, I guess. And um, I'm only using a bit of this because it's really full coverage. And I'm going to use my Real Technique stippling brush, which needs a wash, but whatever. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of stipple that and buff it into the skin. Concealer in the shade, I think this is porcelain as well. Oh, classic ivory. Um, been loving this concealer lately, it's really, really good, really full coverage, and it's like got this squeezy kind of applicator kind of thing. So, I'm just gonna dot that in the areas like, like under my eyes, my eyelids, on my nose, forehead, stuff like that. You guys need to let me know as well what kind of tutorials you like better. Do you like the ones where I voice over? Do you like the ones where I just do a speed through kind of quick thing with the music over the top? Or do you guys like it when I talk through stuff? I'm just blending this out my finger by the way. Um, let me know because of course whichever ones you guys like best are the ones that I will do the most. Um, if you guys like know these kinds or speedy quick ones with music or voiceovers like just let me know in the comments what you prefer and I'll be sure to do more of them 
I'm just gonna set this into place with my nearly completely gone Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, but I have another one in there anyway, but I'm just gonna use this um, small fluff, fluffy brush, and I'm gonna set under my eyes with that. I recommend doing this with a translucent powder if um, your eyelids and stuff are prone to creasing, which are like mine, I've got quite hooded lids, so my eyeshadow can crease and my under eyes when I smile because when I smile I get little laugh lines under my eyes which is gold awful and now I'm just going to take my kabuki brush and I'm just going to set the rest of my face um, I don't need too much set powder with this foundation because it's very matte already but mainly focusing in the T areas of my face Okay, so now onto the bronzer and everything. You guys have probably seen all this before, but whatever. Um, I'm going to use my Collection Bronze and Glow Ultimate Bronzing Powder in the shade number one, Sunkissed. And I'm just going to take my angled fluffy brush. And I've had pan in this already. I've only had it for like you know two months. I'm just going to kind of bronze my face a little bit, just to kind of I don't know, slim my face down and stuff, make me look a little bit sun kissed so I'm just doing it kind of in the areas where I'd kind of contour but just roughly fluffing it in those areas now on to blush I'm going to use my Rimmel London Laughing Finish Soft Color Blush in the shade Santa Rose. And ah, it's like a bitch to open. Like, seriously. Ugh. It's just like this with this coral kind of pink color. And I'm just gonna apply that on the apples of my cheeks and bring it back into the bronzer. And now I'm gonna highlight. And I'm going to use my Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in the shade Iridescent Gold. And this is a bitch to open as well. Ugh, got it. Shit. So dug my nail in it though. And uh, I'm just taking the little fluffy brush that I used under my eyes to kind of highlight. And I just like to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. Um, a bit on my nose, Cupid's bow, chin and stuff like that. Um, this is a really affordable highlighter, it's so gorgeous. And um, I think it looks nice on pale skin as well. It's very gold based, but it's just, it's really a really nice highlighter. I think it's like three quid or something like that, three pounds. So I'm just running that kind of on the tops of my cheekbones and then fluffing it out, fluffing it out, <laughs> blending it out a little bit. Just I don't know if you guys can kind of see in this lighting, but it just makes your cheeks look really dewy and glowy. And you only need a tiny bit and it goes a really long way. Okay, so I'll quickly do my brows. I'm just using my normal Barry M Shape and Define Brow Kit. And I'm just going to be using the kind of gel side today. And I'm going to be using my small angle um, eyebrow brush for this. And I'm just going to do my eyebrows lightly. Um, I don't like to like overfill in mine. I just like to, you know, sculpt them out a little bit. Um, because I've got very full eyebrows anyway, but they're quite thin. I just like to define them. A little bit. Sorry if you guys can't see. I always have a habit of holding my little mirror. You know, I always have a habit of looking down and then when I'm editing I'm like, God, you put your head up because they can't see. So just lightly filling them in like that and then I'm going to go in with my um, Maybelline New York Brow Drama um, sculpting brow mascara in dark blonde and I'm just gonna run this through my brows to kind of 
lock my hands in place and um, yeah this really helps if like me you have really long eyebrow hairs and I don't get my, my eyebrows done or anything these are just my natural eyebrows I'm pretty lucky I don't mind my eyebrows um, but this kind of just locks them in place if you've got like longer eyebrow hairs or you want them set in a certain direction and it will also give them a tint like this helps lighten my brows a bit because my eyebrows are very very dark compared to of course my hair and it's just like it will set them in place and they won't go flying everywhere during the day so yeah okay so the idea today that I have is I'm going to do something kind of different for me I'm going to do I think I'm going to do kind of a coppery kind of copper brown smokyish kind of eye but kind of natural with an orange lip um, because I always do pink lips and always kind of do I don't know, kind of bright eyes and stuff so I don't usually use copper but I'm going to go for that I'm going to be using my makeup with eyeshadows and I'm using all these on the bottom well I don't know if I'm going to use all of them but these are wrapped out the range that I will use so I think first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade um, Creme Brulee, which is this gorgeous um, caramel kind of camel color brown and um, this is a really nice kind of transition shade to warm up the crease if you like really warm toned eyes like me. And I'm just taking this Urban Decay eyeshadow brush that I got with the Make a 3 palette and I'm going to use the fluffy side and I'm just going to roughly literally buff that in the crease and on the lower lash line and just haze things out. It just helps to further blend things later on as well. And also if you guys, I know you guys have been asking me when I do my speed through tutorials to list the products down below and um, I don't know if you guys know but lately I have been listing all the products that I've been using in the description bar so make sure you check that out. Um, in all my tutorials I've been doing that lately so I'll make sure that I list all the product names down below for you guys so check out the description so as you can see I'm just roughly buffing this in my crease I hope you guys can see and it just gives like a nice warmth and transition shade um, I like to kind of blend that upwards too just to make my eyes look a little bit more open and hazy and I like to take this on the lower lash line as well and I like to take mine really kind of low because because I do I don't know I find that I've got quite small eyes well I don't have small small eyes but they're not big I have kind of just smallish eyes and um, by smoking out colors really far down on your lower lash line it really kind of opens them up so that's what I like to do anyway of course you guys don't have to smoke it out that low so now I think I'm going to go into the crease a little bit um, and I'm going to take this smaller kind of fluffy brush I don't know what it's by but I'm going to take this shade Coco Beth which is a really warm brick kind of chocolatey brown and I'm going to just put that in my crease with this brush and blending that out and um, of course you guys can use cooler tone browns if you want you don't have to go so warm tone but I like warm tones so I'm just going to place that directly in the crease and kind of blend that back and forth to just further define it you can go back also in with that bigger blending brush um, that you guys used just to blend out further because this one's a lot fluffier than this small one. this on my lower lash line again kind of smoking it down quite low because that's how I like it I really hope you guys can see it. I'm terrible at uh, just like punching over and <laughs> doing my like forgetting that I'm filming oh shit 
feel like I'm just a mess this video. I'm really sorry. Um, okay, so I think now I'm gonna go on with the lid color. <coughs> I'm gonna use um, Makeup Geek Glamorous eyeshadow, which is this really gorgeous, coppery, kind of golden, shimmery shade. And I'm gonna take the flat side to the Jewel Ended Makeup Geek, I mean, Makeup Geek, ugh, Urban Decay eyeshadow brush. And uh, of course, you guys can use whatever brushes you like. And I'm just going to kind of pack that on the lid. The reason I did the crease first for this look is because I didn't want to blend away any of the lid colour or anything. And stuff like that. Can you guys see how gorgeous this colour is? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this just kind of by the inner corner. Yeah, on the lower lash line um, just to bring like that little pop of copper down below again I hope you guys can see what I'm doing okay so now now I'm going to take where is that small brush I'm going to take this really small kind of detailer brush and I'm going to take Makeup Geeks Bling which is just a shimmery champagne kind of colour and I'm going to pop this on the brow bone and the inner corners just to kind of brighten everything up Okay, so now I'm going to take my Rimmel London Soft Coal Black Eyeliner and I'm just going to line really close on the lower lash line to my lashes. This just kind of helps to open your eyes up, um, if that makes sense, without putting it on the waterline which closes your eyes up. I don't know, it just makes my eyes appear more dull eyed and round. I'm just putting this close to my lower lashes on my lower lash line like that of course you guys can apply black eyeliner to your waterline and stuff like that if you like but I personally like to put white on my waterline which is what I'm going to do now if I can find it I'm just going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on my waterline and this just really kind of opens my eyes up because like I said I like how quite small eyes and this kind of helps to open them up but if you have really big eyes I reckon if you did black eyeliner on the waterline stuff it would make it look really hazy and smoky oh, I got an itch and really nice and now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner you know that I cannot go without doing winged eyeliner oh my god I hate how my nose itches when I film this is so annoying I'm going to use my NYC liquid eyeliner in black and um, just wing my eyes. Fingers crossed this goes well because it never does on camera. It's bloody hard to film. <laughs> this in the outer bit of the crease just to kind of deepen up the eyes a bit and now onto mascara I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and buy some mascara 
And the mascara I will be using is the L'Oreal Punky Miss Manga Mascara Mega Volume. And I really like this mascara. And I'm just going to put this on my upper and lower lashes. Surprise, surprise, I'm not using my um, Miss Adoro ones. <laughs> I actually finally threw them out. I always wear them. Uh, these ones are the Cara 43 Black Human Hair Lashes. Just so you guys know. Um, they're similar to my Miss Adoro ones. They're very kind of natural and stuff. Of course, you guys can stick. I cannot go. Skip this step if you want, but. I love lashes, so I'm going to be using my Duo Dark Tone Eyelash Adhesive and I'm just going to just show you guys the tweezers if you want. And just, I use tweezers to kind of help apply. So I'm just going to put some glue on the band and let them sit for a few minutes and then apply them to my eyes. Um, I'm not going to do this on camera because it takes too long, but if you guys want a full in-depth tutorial, maybe on false lashes and stuff and how I apply them then let me know in the comments down below and maybe I will film a video on how I apply false lashes and stuff like that and things I recommend so yeah just let me know. Okay so now that the lashes are on um, I'm going to line my lips and do lips like I said I'm going to do an orange lip so First I'll be lining my lips with the Barry M Lip Liner. I think I've literally lost the shade because it's been sharpened that much. Oh, 01 M3, it's just it, I need to sharpen it actually. I use this lip liner way too much, I think I need a vitamin. Look how small it's gotten. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to just line my lips, overdraw them just a little. my OCC matte lip tart in the shade Cha Cha which is this really pretty bright pastel orange so um what I do with this is I just literally I've been using this like duo lash glue kind of box and I'm just I just put a little dot because a little bit goes a long way with these on that bit of cardboard and I'm gonna use the OCC um, lip tar brush and I'm just gonna brush this all over my lips. So that is it you guys for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I don't know, learn how to create this look I guess. If you guys have any comments or questions or anything like that, just comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, yeah. I really like how this look turned out. It's something kind of different for me because I usually always do pink and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought this would just be a really nice look for spring and summer. Just really fresh and really nice with this like copper smoky kind of brown eye. I think it's just really cute. So yeah, make sure if you guys recreate this look or anything, you hashtag XXCloserXX or tag me on Instagram and let me know. Um, yeah, so that is it for this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, there will be links down below to previous videos, my social networking sites and my Etsy store. And um, yeah, that's it you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you so much.